Hey everybody, and today on Emily Heart B, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, like a full tag. So I was actually watching a video uh, from Less Bug and or Least Bug. People call it Least Bug, Less Bug, you know. Either way, you get it. And um, she was having a full tag, and in the comment box it says you're it. So um, I guess I would upload this video and I guess have it as a, like a video response for her. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of my fall favorites. So the first one is probably going to be like, um, just something like when you're with your friends and you're hanging around, what you do. Or like if you're on your porch or something. Uh, it's a really good creative thing. Um, this is just like a mason jar and I colored it. It's very cute. Uh, it reminds me of a bumblebee because it's like yellow and um, white, if you can see that. And if you take some of this twine, um, it's made like a wool type, um, and you just wrap that around. It's a cute little lantern. And then you put a little, um, like a candle that you get from the dollar store and put some rice in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there's rice in there. And um, it burns down rice and um, gives off a really good scent, um, especially for if you have a special scent in it. Um, and I love it. It's just awesome, and it's good for the fall, especially on Halloween if you wanted to decorate it for Halloween. Um, the next thing would be accessory-wise. And accessory-wise, I have this cute little black bow. Um, they also had a brown one, but the brown one was kind of like broke while I was at the store, so... I didn't bother to, you know, come home and sew it or anything. I just got the black one. Um, and the black one came out really well, actually. I love it. Um, as you can see, it just has, like, this part right here. And then, you know, the typical. It's just, like, a typical black bow. Uh, it's really cute, especially when I have, like, um, if I take all my hair to, the, like, one side. Usually when my bangs are still on this side. And uh, clip it. After you put the braid in, you clip it in. It's really cute. Um, you could also use it to pull back your hair. That's also a good, you know, type idea. If, like, you're doing your makeup. You can pull that to the side. I think it's really cute, actually. Um, especially when I'm trying to do my makeup. It. Um, overall, really a great little hair clip. Um, next we have some Charmex. And this is, like, um, for cold sores and everything, but just like Lisbug, uh, she had, like, little stuff on her nose, and she's like, oh, put this on here and it'll fix it. Well, I could not find that, so I decided to use some Charmex. And I had a few other products, but, um, I'm not going to be showing them in this video. Because I actually left them in my purse, which is in my locker at school. So, yeah. Um, I did happen to have my Charmex with me. And Charmex really works for, like, not just cold sores. Um, but, like, if you have dry skin, usually I have dried skin because of my own skin. Um, it's all dried, and I just hate it. Hate is a strong word, but I really do not like it. Um, I'm always, like, peeling it, I think, especially in the winter, and Charmix really works, not just for your lips, but, um, for, like, above your eyebrows, maybe some people get it there, I don't know, um, on your nose line, and on your end of your nose, which is really weird, like these folks said, um, but Charmix does work, especially not really the, like, rolling kind, or the kind that, like, comes out glossy, but the kind where you can put your finger in there and just dip it out really works. Uh, I love it to death. And it, it does work for cold sores, but I don't have cold sores, so don't know what to do. But yeah, that stuff's cool. Um, my favorite nail polish. My favorite nail polish would have to be um, this from Sally Hansen. Um, it is the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. Um, and the nail color is like a Vernus but uh, angels, I guess, uh, Vernus or angels, I guess, and um, that's what it says, no color, but that's what it is, um, I wish that I would have a camera that would focus, but I don't, 
you know. But um, it's kind of like a gray color, and this is what it looks like. So it's really cute. Kind of has like a kind of sparkle to it, and it would be really cute if you could make a manicure with this. That'd be really cute. But this is my all-time favorite nail polish from Sally Hansen. Um, and then this is from Alberto. It's called V05. It's just conditioning hairdressing stuff. Um, it's just like for normal dry, normal or dry hair. Um, but this is what it is basically. Um, it's just like this paste. Kind of looks like it's in a toothpaste. But it's not. Um, when it comes out, it comes out in like a gel form. I think you can see that. Like a paste. Um, you just apply that to the end of your hairs or wherever. It's just buzzed up and you hate it. Um, it takes care of it. And makes it way more straighter. I love the new um, hair because, I mean, my hair used to be puffed up and now it is like not as much more softer at the ends too and the dead ends went away believe it or not most of the dead ends went away so that's a good thing and it is V05 Alberto it's really good um, especially because in fall you go outside and it's all misty and your hair is just you got you girls know what I'm talking about it's like your hair puffs up when you're outside in the morning time I eat it too um, and there was one more thing for fall that I really, really wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't know if any of you have this, but I got this, um, a long time ago, actually. Not really that long, about a year or so. Not that long. Um, it's called a Promise Doll. Um, it's really awesome in the wintertime, um, in the, you know, fall type, you know, that type of area there. Um, just because, you know, like... It's windy and it's storming and everything, and um, a promise dog really helps out during that time. I don't really know. I mean, it also kind of reminds me of like a fall or autumn time, just because of the like the little sticks that are made for it. Um, but yeah, it's just like this little wool doll, wooden doll type thingy. And it is just adorable. I love it. Especially it's a little hat. It's cute. Um, and yeah. So, don't know why I like this, but, you know, I guess it was just awesome. And, um, I wanted to make a shout out to Lacebug because she's just awesome. And I watch every single video she has. Every single video. Yeah. Kind of stalkerish, but, you know, her videos are really awesome. So, if you haven't seen her, go check her out. I'm not going to leave the URL in the description, um, but I will tell you how to spell it. L-I-S-B-U-G. L-I-S-B-U-G. Go type that in in the search bar. Watch all her videos. And if you haven't or don't know who Shane Dawson is, you probably all do. But just to make sure, go check out Shane Dawson's videos. Oh my god. His videos are the most hilarious videos you will ever see in your entire life. I'm sure you guys all have seen it, but I know some people haven't. And if you haven't, go check him out. He is awesome, and so is Lee Spug. So, thanks for watching. Come right, subscribe, and thank you all my beauties.